I return, the sub-hero of a pirate victory, a plunderer of God's precious time, betrayed by the enemy's scorn for my awesome power. I find that I am just a little warrior, dipping a thimble into a sea of blood and fear, where waves grow old and life is small, and death is no longer exquisite. History has abandoned me on this savage cliff where those blinded gulls fly overhead, their wings blood-soaked with the conflicts of a thousand banners. I realize now that what happened was not for me. I should have staved off the compulsion to war through such expendable days. I would have better stayed home to tend the cabbages and clip the roses and drink the nectar of another spring. Instead, I took orders and hoisted the banner of my empire. And I did as I was told, each hour, day, and night. That skull, half buried there in the rubble, and garnished with dead flowers. That's not my doing. My soul is garbed in white. It sings innocence against all past anger. It disclaims those scattered cadavers upon that horizon. They say the Holocaust is over now. So, while death, with its gargantuan hunger, is for the moment out of reach, let me fill this night with questions. Whose end lies out there in the silvery murk? And where hides the victory that holds up the parade? Our sorrowing wives, where are they? And all the abandoned children? Is there no one left to wave our ragged flag? Come, talk with me. Ask me the things that I have suffered. Count the casualties that I brought to one single barbarous day. Praise the notches in my carbine stock. Then at dawn, let us limp off to pray.